The final review is going to be on Studio Series, Transformers War for Cybertron, Gamer Edition, Optimus Prime. Stay tuned. Right, I'm Spill here, and today we're doing a review on the Studio Series Gamer Edition, Optimus Prime, Gamer number 03. There's a Transformers War for Cybertron logo. It is the plastic-free packaging, the Transformers logo. Uh, it is a Voyager class, number 03. The other two are Bumblebee and Barricade, plastic-free packaging, except tape and glue. There is the War for Cybertron logo. There's the UPC, <laughs> big screen inspired, well, small screen inspired actually. Uh, it's the k -On Prison Break. Optimus Prime enacts a plan to be captured by the Decepticons in an effort to save Zeta Prime. Backdrop includes, included, uh, 22 steps and he comes with a big old battle axe and his blaster. All right, let's get this. Oh, and that's cool. You get the little gamer logo right there. Let's get this, crack this guy open and see how cool the new Gamer Edition Optimus Prime is. And now that we got everything out of the box, first we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet. Now, even before you get into transforming him, first we have his weapons. He comes with an axe, a gun, and two poles for the axe. So what you could do is take his hand off and you put his hand into the back of his waist. And you could put the two uh, handles of the axe, kind of like you do with Ultra Magnus and Combiner Wars, like that. And he holds his gun and his axe. Or, now this I don't understand. You've got, I guess it means you take apart the axe, and you just put one piece on the axe, and you could flip a panel over, and it's a two-bladed axe, and he just wields it in one hand. <clears throat> And then it has the matrix, and then finally you get into transforming it. And there's the first five steps, and here's the rest. And then it is weapon placement in vehicle mode. <clears throat> so, all that in the instruction booklets. <clears throat> this is the axe, and it is uh, different colors, how they bleed into one another, and it's got that cool Cybertronian. Uh, type symbols on it on both sides and you can see the other side and here is how you would just separate it and you got these two tabs will go into here and snap it in <clears throat> and that is how his axe is made and then <clears throat> you've got the two handles now they are different one's got a five millimeter port there so you can do it like this and you put it in here. Now, if you want Optimus Prime 2, this is a 5mm port right here. So you can have him hold his axe kind of like this. <clears throat> or you could do it like this. And then he can hold it like this. <clears throat> and the gun is a different gun. Now, he can't hold the gun. There is no 5mm port. The only way he could hold his gun is if you take his hand off and attach the gun to his hand. Uh, before we look at Optimus, we're going to look at the Studio Series now. This is the <clears throat> backdrop. <clears throat> now I love how they've been duplicating the cardboard where you get strapped into with the background. Oops. <clears throat> and when you first get them, all his weapons are uh, boxed up here or packaged here in a bag. And this is the Gamer Edition. And this, I believe, is the backdrop included. What is it? K on Prison Break. So I don't play the games, but you got looks like a big ship. I know it looks like eyes, but it looks like a big ship. And then you can take Optimus. And put him right there. And it says Studio Series. It's got the game logo 03. Game Edition Transformers again with the game logo. And there is the backdrop. <clears throat> so, and that is it. <clears throat> now, before we get too far, <clears throat> we're just going to show you how you could pull the arm off. 
and it's got this little peg in the back which you turn around he's got a peg right there it's probably good for a figure stand too and you just plug that in and then you take his gun the easiest thing to do is rotate this 90 degrees and then you can slide the gun in uh, let's see we'll slide the gun in like that <clears throat> and then that's how he can shoot the gun <clears throat> bang bang pew pew bang bang <clears throat> and let's have him hold a stick so you put it in one hand and then this you can just combine it like that <clears throat> and that is Optimus all armed up and everybody always wants to know are these compatible with blast effects here's some Rodham's Prime's blast effects so yes they are compatible uh, let's see and here he is with his gun um, I don't know do I like that it, it just makes the hand his hand looks really long but or his arm but that is your Optimus Prime. Let's see. And you, I think you can only take... Yeah, you can only take one hand off. <clears throat> and this is a 5 million port. And you can just slide it back on there. <clears throat> and there is your Optimus Prime. Now, like I said, the staff <clears throat> could go like this. You can wield it as an axe, or you can just separate, separate this, and now it's a double-barreled axe. So, <clears throat> all right, and now for the weapon, <clears throat> well, and now we'll just look at Prime. Now, one thing I do like about this Prime is the face. I love how the antennas are extended. It gives me that Transformers Prime. Uh, vibe. Let's see, you got the Autobot symbols. Of course, he's got his iconic chest. <clears throat> that looks like his grill. And then you got some paneling detail right there with some orange paint. You got the crotch piece. You got paneling here. The blue legs. Here's the uh, smokestacks right there. Going up the feet. Um, pretty solid figure. I mean, not too many hollow spots at all. So, not too much of a backpack, neither. It's the front of the car with the fenders. And you got the wheels that fold out. I mean, that's not really hollow. That's just the way the feet are. I mean, overall, a very cool-looking prime. Now, we're just going to do some articulation. The head looks like it appears on a ball joint. You can go up and down with a lot of movement. Let's see the arm. 360 degrees it goes out. I love how they have that little added piece Underneath it. And that's pretty cool uh, Let's see elbow 360 degrees and The fist goes maybe 180 which is kind of neat and 90 degrees on the arm <clears throat> uh, He's got a waist rotation <clears throat> other arm the same way and of course, remember you could take out the arm. Uh, let's see, kick. <clears throat> wow, more than 90 degrees. And I like how it's not one panel, it's broken up into two. Although you can't go back. You can go forward, but you can't go back at all. You can do the full split. It's got upper thigh rotation, it's a mushroom peg. Uh, knees are that's about 90 degrees <clears throat> and the feet uh, yes you do have ankle pivot and they go up and down so you can get them in some pool some cool poses and let's see whoops uh, we'll put this let's see if we can get them in those go in, in one of those good poses we'll put them like this all right, and we'll put this here, and then put his hand in there. Yeah, you can do poses like that.
pretty cool. There you go. Where is Megatron? There. But the unfortunate thing is there's nowhere to put his gun. You'd think that there would be a tab right here where you could put the gun in somewhere. And I haven't found one yet. Will this work? No. So, um, but still a pretty cool looking figure. Now this is from the game War for Cybertron. So this is Gamer Edition number three. I would assume one and two are going to be Bumblebee and Barricade, which in reality, this looks like the only one out of the bunch that is worth even getting. But, hey, if you like the games, go for it. All right, now we're just going to do some robot to robot comparisons. We're going to do a few Optimus Prime comparisons mostly. Here is the Siege Voyager. Uh, cyber, this is the C, so it's more like a Cybertronian vehicle. Well, it's 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 very very. They took the Earth design and added a few things to it. So this is technically a Cybertron vehicle. Now the Voyager is a little taller, but this guy has got more uh, more parts, and I think he's more bulky. <clears throat> and then we're gonna look at G1 Optimus, just because I haven't had this guy out in a while. This is my favorite Optimus to date, is the Bumblebee Optimus Prime. Um, from what I've seen from the Rise of the Beast, this will be my favorite Optimus Prime. <laughs> and we're going to bring in G2 Laser Optimus Prime in the new Legacy line. And since he's in a Cybertronian mode, we're going to bring in Jazz and Bumblebee. Now I know... This is not his Cybertronian mode from the TV show, but the game. But I think it'll be cool when you see all three in their Cybertronian modes. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to get all his weapons. And we are going to transform him now. Oh, and before we transform him, I forgot to showcase. He comes with his own little Matrix. Here's the little matrix. Uh, typical G1 matrix with the gold outer shell, the blue inside, and the two handles. And it's hollow on one side. And there is his matrix cavity. And you just pop it in. And now Prime. You can't have an Optimus Prime without a matrix. Now, unfortunately... Kind of wish they would have given him uh, movable fingers because you can't have him hold a matrix. Which, but at least he does have a matrix. And uh, okay, now we will transform him. Okay, to transform Optimus, first what we're going to do <clears throat> is move the arms up like that. And we take the arms and we're just going to extend them like that. <clears throat> Come back here. What you want to do is extend this whole front, <clears throat> rotate it around, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going, going to rotate these up for right now and take this guy and we're going to move this whole thing until it snaps in like that. And then we're going to push these up, and we're going to put this over. Now his head's going to fit into the slot right here. This head will fit here. And then what you want to do is you got these tabs are going to go into these slots. So you want to push this in like that, and put this one in like that. <clears throat> and now the top is done. Okay, <clears throat> next for the feet, we're going to rotate the feet around, and we're going to fold this whole thing up. So now the arms, <clears throat> we're going to rotate it. You want the Autobot symbols, I believe, facing up. And then you fold these in like that, <clears throat> and you're going to connect these two together. There. So you're just going to connect these two together, <clears throat> and that's what we got so far. <clears throat> now, for the legs, 
put them together if they're not already. So I'm going to take these two pieces and fold them down. Then we're going to take the feet and fold them down and peg these together. And then when we then we're going to take these pieces and we're just going to get them out of the way for now. Rotate the wheels so they're facing out. Now you're going to fit these pegs into these slots. So they're at an angle. So you want to bring this down. And we're just going to put these here. Next thing you want to do is you want to take this, close this down. Now you're going to get this tab or this tab into that slot. You're going to fold these up. And that's going to snap in. And then you're going to fold this up. It's going to fit right in that little cutout. Like that. Pop that in. And these you can move out. And now we are done. <clears throat> and that is the vehicle mode. <clears throat> and you just want to squish it all together. So it's all nice and schmoozy. And uh, <clears throat> there we go. Now, to me it looks like an old 1940s or 50s uh, car. <laughs> But, <clears throat> really, right off the bat, there's really no windshield, but why would Cybertronian cars have windshields back then? Okay, so, first thing I notice is the silver uh, rims with the red around it. Same thing in the back, pretty neat. You got the red and the blue. I like how the panels come together. Now, these are different shades of red, because one's a uh, red pan, uh, plastic, and one's painted. But, you got a 5mm slot right here which uh, could fit like that, even though it tells you not to. <clears throat> I'm just pointing it out. You got, are these five millimeter slots too? Ah, uh, no, see that's a big missed uh, appointment, right? The missed opportunity right there. <clears throat> and so let's go over, okay, the front, we got the, the grill, we got the, the silver grill, we got some headlights, so we got the front bumper. As we go, we got this red piece, how it goes into the blue. Uh, up here looks pretty good. Nice panel detail. You got the exhaust pipes. You got the six wheels. <clears throat> Here's where you lose it with the hands. You think they, I think the hands are thick enough where you could have easily folded the hands in <clears throat> like most figures. Or this could have had a panel that closed down, but that does look silly. And then you got the other side. Again, not too much paneling, but just enough. Got some paneling down there. You got some paneling here. Here's the bottom. Don't look too bad. <clears throat> here is the top. And it... Well, let's move the camera for a minute. <clears throat> and he uh, he rolls pretty good. <clears throat> I'm on a, a cardboard, so... But he does roll pretty good on a flat surface. Now, <clears throat> for the weapons placement... <clears throat> You've got two taps here on the bottom of the gun, and they go in these two slots. I mean, we've, we've seen this before. I think like on Tarn was the latest figure where we had to do that. <clears throat> and then this weapon, <clears throat> we just build it. Uh, if you want, yeah, sure, go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and I believe... Let's look at the directions real quick. Yeah, you put this... Ah, so it looks like... Let's see. All right, it looks like you got this slot right here. And you got this tab on the gun. So, nope, that's not it neither. Huh. Let's figure this out. I had it before. What could it possibly be? Oh, you know what? Maybe it is these two that'll work not really sure what they mean but that works right there because the directions are not that helpful in this regard so it just says you put it back like that and the, the little knobs there but there's nowhere I would assume that's why you have these cutouts so, you line, let's do these cutouts again with this, and they line up. Nope, oh, they don't. There we go. 
No. And there is his weapons placement. Um, well, you know what? It's weapons, storage, I mean, but, like I said, if you wanted to, you could always use this 5mm peg right there, or 5mm port right there, and we'll stick this on the gun, pew, 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 bang, bang, and there is our game, Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, and I like them. And we could fold that up if you want. So I do like how, even though he is a Voyager figure, he does come with multiple weapons. Pretty neat, too. Now let's do a comparison with our other primes. Now, first we'll do the... Well, let's get these stupid weapons. Well, there, we'll put them there. This is the Cybertron version of Optimus. So he's only Cybertron because he's got these extra lights up here and he's got these extra windows up here. <clears throat> and you can't see the back wheels, but you know, I don't have any other Cybertronian Optimus Prime, so my siege is gonna have to be it. <clears throat> and then this is the Bumblebee Optimus Prime <clears throat> Studio Series. So I, I don't like the Rise of the Beast line Optimus Prime. But I hope the Studio Series Prime is a lot better. <clears throat> and then G1. Where it started all G1. <clears throat> and then we'll throw in the G2 Optimus Prime. This guy's pretty cool too. And <clears throat> Voyager to Voyager. So they are roughly... This Voyager is a lot longer. Because basically it just laid down with the legs. And this thing you actually do stuff with the legs. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> And then we'll do all our Cybertronian vehicles. We got Cybertronian Jazz and Cybertronian Bumblebee. So, <clears throat> not the true Cybertronian. I know this is from the video game. And we do, we are getting a Bumblebee um, War for Cybertron game. But, you know what? This Cybertron mode is a Cybertron mode. So these are all our Cybertronian <clears throat> Transformers we have. And it's a cool concept. I mean, I, I love it's even got the smokestacks. It's pretty cool. I like the six wheels. You got the front grill. And, of course, you've got the Optimus Prime red and blue. And you've got the chest piece. So it's pretty cool how using one, um, one template, they can do so many different vehicles. Now, <clears throat> if you've seen my channel before, if you haven't, I always transform things back to the way they go. I start as their package, this guy was packaged in robot mode, so I started in robot mode. Because a lot of reviewers will not show both of them, and that is doing you a disservice. Because normally it's a lot harder to go from robot to vehicle mode than vehicle mode to robot mode. So, <clears throat> we're going to take the weapons off, <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to do in reverse steps. So, we're going to pull these panels to the side. Just pull out these panels to the side, <clears throat> pull these back, and we're just going to unpeg the arms, and we're just going to bring this straight up. <clears throat> Again, we'll worry about that later. So, disconnect the finger, the hands, and then you want to unhook these pieces like that, unhook like that, <clears throat> and then what you can do is... Uh, let's rotate this around real quick. So now we're all facing the same way. Whoops. And it's getting ahead of me. All right. Well, you know what? Let's finish the feet. Separate the feet. Pull the feet out. Pull this back in. Flip the wheel over. And that pegs in fine. So we got one foot. Again, take the wheel... Fold it around, that gives us clearance to snap in. Pull the feet down, close this. <clears throat> now we got half a prime. And let's stop it there. There we go. So now we're back to this again. So, let's pull this back, rotate it around, and then we're going to shift this whole thing up. Okay? These. We're going to shift 
back. We're going to pull these around and then we're going to push these back in. Flip this in and then we're going to fold this up like that. And then come to the arms. Pull the arms down. Fix that. Rotate this. Pull the arms down. And his hand's going to fall off. And now he's back to Optimus Prime. Not the smoothest. I apologize. <clears throat> it's the legs when you... Uh, there's You don't have that much clearance when you turn this around. So you got to do things in the right uh, spot. And then again, pull out the arm. I think this substitutes as a flight stand pole too. So you can put him in some cool um, poses. We're going to put the gun in. Now, I wonder if you can... No, you can't do the gun the other way. The gun only goes this way. So we're going to put him back that. We're going to get his, <clears throat> his axe again. And there is Optimus Prime. His hands are tight, too. Optimus Prime Gamer Edition. Now, he's a, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, let's see, he's very bulky. He doesn't have that much hollow spots at all. Oops, oh yeah, that's his hand. Um, doesn't, uh, comes with enough weapons. Part size good, he feels pretty good. So all in all, this guy is getting a nine, nine and a half <clears throat> out of me. Like I said, the only bad thing is the fists at the back of the, of the, uh, vehicle mode it just sticks out like that <clears throat> which i don't like all right so that's it for this review if you've liked this review or if you haven't subscribed please like hit that share button the like button turn on notifications subscribe to the channel not only do we do transformers but we do dc and marvel we do funko pops we do legos we do a whole bunch of stuff there's over a thousand videos on the channel check out the playlist if you want to see stuff i think every figure i mentioned in here including the new jazz and uh, origins i got reviews for uh like subscribe uh, i'm on facebook too all right so this is the gamer edition studio series number three optimus prime from the war for cybertron video game saying till all are one autobots transform and roll out